In this video, we're going to discuss topic extraction. The project that I have open contains almost 32,000 online customer hotel reviews for hotels in Las Vegas. The topic extraction feature on the extraction page uses a form of factor analysis. Prior to extracting topics, it's recommended to remove low frequency items. Any word occurring less than 10 times on smaller data sets, and ideally less than 30 to 50 times on larger ones. Stemming, lemmatization, and the creation of a categorization dictionary may also be used to group words or phrases, including less frequent ones prior to the topic extraction. Let's go back to the extraction page. At the top of the Topics tab, you see three options. Segmentation allows you to specify whether the data to be used for topic modeling will be based on the co-occurrence of words in the same document, paragraph, or sentence. The choice should reflect how topics are distributed within a document and across documents, as well as the objective of the analysis. When the text collection consists of long documents containing multiple topics, such as long political speeches, and you need to identify all topics in order to compare their relative frequencies, then performing segmentation by paragraph or by sentence may be more sensitive than by document. Alternatively, if you attempt to differentiate documents by identifying domains or disciplines, or to identify the dominant issue in documents, then segmenting at the document level may be more appropriate. When analyzing responses to open-ended questions, which may include several topics in a single paragraph, segmenting by sentence may result in a more precise extraction of the topics contained. We'll segment by sentence for our hotel reviews. The number of topics option allows you to specify how many topics to extract. Loading allows you to set a minimum factor loading a word should reach in order to be retained in the factor solution. Recommended loading is between 0.2 and 0.3. Increasing this will reduce the number of words, keeping only the more representative ones. While reducing it may include words that are somewhat less characteristic of the extracted topic. Once you've set your options, Select Run. A table appears containing a factor number, a name, WordStat uses an algorithm to automatically provide a name for the extracted topic, keywords, all the keywords meeting the factor loading cutoff criteria are listed in descending order of factor loading. Eigenvalue, the topic with the most variance, which can be interpreted as coverage, has the highest eigenvalue. So the higher the eigenvalue, the more important the topic is. Percent variance shows the percentage of coverage. Please note that the smaller the segmentation, in our case sentence, the lower the percentage. Frequency displays the total frequency of all items listed in the keyword column. Cases shows the number of cases containing at least one of the items listed in the keyword column. Percent case displays the percentage of cases with at least one of the items listed in the keywords column. The right panel allows you to look at the relationship between the selected topic and two structured variables in either a vertical bar chart a horizontal bar chart, or a line chart. You can choose the variable from the drop-down on the far right. You had to have chosen to include the variables in your content analysis when accessing WordStat from QDA Miner to make use of the right panel. Please see the video on starting WordStat from QDA Miner for more information. Four statistics are available. 
case occurrence, category percent, word frequency, and the rate per 10,000 words. You can access related text segments by right-clicking the bar and scrolling down to Keyword Retrieval. The buttons at the top from left to right start with the trash, which allows you to delete a topic. Simply select it, and then press the trash button. The merge button allows you to merge topics. Select the first topic, then select the merge button, and then select the second topic. Both factor numbers are included in the number column when merged. The name label can be edited by clicking this button. Select the Keyword Retrieval button to retrieve segments associated with a topic. All text segments containing at least two keywords of the selected topic will be retrieved. The Information button shows you associated statistics. The globe allows you to visualize the spatial distribution of topics by taking you to our mapping module. The co-occurrence button allows you to perform co-occurrence analysis of all the extracted topics, including clustering, multidimensional scaling, statistics, link analysis, and proximity plots. The crosstab button allows you to perform a full crosstabulation analysis of all the displayed topics with structured data. You can apply statistics and create various charts such as heat maps, bubble plots, bar charts, and correspondence plots. This button allows you to store the topics as a categorization dictionary. The topics become categories, and the keywords become the items that are stored in the categories. And remember, you can always append a copy of the table in the Report Manager, save it to disk, and print a copy of the table.